Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called American Arcadia. This game was released on November 15th, 2023. Its regular price is $25.99 Canadian, or your regional equivalent, and is developed by Out of the Blue Games and published by Raw Fury. This is a cinematic puzzle game that combines a 2.5D platformer and first-person game to tell the tale of a thrilling escape. Experience the extraordinary story of Trevor, an average man escaping from the world's most popular reality TV show. So there, there's a ton of stuff in that little blurb. Um, you know, it makes it sound a bit like, what the heck is that that movie? You know, the movie where the, the guy's in the TV show. And it's Jim Carrey? My mind is a complete blank. This is terrible. Anyway, I'm sure it's probably inspired by that movie, whatever it is. I'm going to be kicking myself in the edit. But the fact that it mixes two very very different genres like 2.5d platformer with the first person uh, i'm very very intrigued to check that out um i assumed that a keyboard and mouse would be fine for this because it's you know first person um but it said that a controller is highly recommended so i've got my controller um i guess we'll see like maybe i can just use a controller for the platforming bits and then keyboard and mouse for the first person we'll see are you ready to proceed then uh yes yes i'm ready Good, we're recording now. So, please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Trevor Hills, 28, senior account manager at INAC, although I'm not sure about that anymore. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia, but you probably already know that, right? Subject 10392, you are entering a restricted area. Whoa, okay, we are, we're right in, I guess. <laughs> okay, interesting, so it's... No. Yeah? You'll have to catch me first, you jerk! <laughs> you tell him. Okay, so this is like Limbo, I guess. This is the 2.5D platforming. Narratively, it's told through... I don't know, like, documentary style or something? Like this? Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Uh, I used wow. to have a Monday. Frame rate's a bit weird there. Just my everyday routine, and I I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. <laughs> the uh, the the style in this is is very very cool. Press X to interact. I was hitting everything else but X. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity of 53% on this beautiful sunny Friday morning. Good morning, Arcadia. Oh, what a nice place. Look at him shuffling in his little slippers. This is very cool so far. Whoa. <laughs> cool transition. Look at your Morning, turtle. Kovacs? What do you say? Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? That a boy. I'm glad he fed his turtle. I get coffee. No. Auto droid to full cleaning. Whoa, look at my droid. Excuse me, droid. I was pretty good at Spectrex when I was a kid. But I'm not into video games anymore. It's a very cool, like, alternate history vibe going on here. Eh, it's not a Steinway, but it fits in my comfy hobbit hole. Hobbit hole? This place is massive. <laughs> I love those transitions, they're really cool. He's very snazzly dressed as well. My neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Good morning, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. That's nice. Transition? No. Monorail. And on uh, over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. That's where I work. Gotta check in though. Trevor Hills, welcome to INAC's Gemini Towers. Thank you. You've been working with us for nine years, Whoa. ten months, and fourteen days. Thank you for your dedication. That's a very long time. 
the transition is definitely uh like the transitions are really cool but i can definitely see like some frame drops when they it, it goes like it loads snaps to the new area still trying to beat my spectrex high score mitch it's just a matter of time trevor just a matter of time <laughs> yeah sure whatever whatever mitch Everybody's got like mullets and stuff. Hello. Hey Trevor, are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, man. Good for you guys. Ada, the automated data analyzer, is the most powerful computer ever built. INAC technology inside. Trevor, my man! Hi, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the gym? Nah, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans! By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Sending the Ada. I do have fun, moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sorry, I just noticed that he has a framed picture of his uh, turtle on his desk. Seriously? But that guy's a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's job. Got him. Sending it to Ada? Validated. And, I, and I'm not, but... William Romano, man? You gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life while exploring the world and making unforgettable memories? Yes. Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. Um, uh, Mr. Hills, you haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. He spent like 20 really minutes just talking about, like, I, his day-to-day. -day. What I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Nine days before that dreadful day. <laughs> uh. That, uh, vibrates my controller. Good morning, Arcadia. Very fancy. It's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66%. I'm guessing something's going to go wrong on this day. He had to establish his normal day, you know. We didn't see the turtle. Go back! Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. Ooh. I wonder where this guy went. Hey, Millie, have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or...? I don't think so. He just left early today. Really? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. This is uh, reminding me of another show I can't remember the name of. Ada memos by myself. Thank you, Gus. One where they they split their brain in half, and one half goes to work, Jesus, and the other half has fun. To finish. I'll remember all these things when I'm editing. Three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Oh, CCTV area. Why to interact with a device? Hey, I'm still working here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so cool. Six days, what happened to the last three? Maybe it's his weekend. We haven't been here before. Oh. <laughs> He's been recorded everywhere. It's just like that movie. <laughs> I was just making sure people were actually moving, right? I think they were. Yes, they are. My do, 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 do. Citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. Maybe it was Gus. His name is... Hey, 
Isn't it was Gus. Gus. Augustus Rainey, a 31-year-old senior account manager at INAC. Soon, Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. I hope he packed an Aloha shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Hmm, that's weird. Gus was never interested in any of this. Well done, Gus. Would you take a Hawaiian shirt to uh, Fiji? <laughs> Good on Gus, though. So, I barely got to meet him, you know. They promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> okay, this is an office space Whoa, reference. I remember that I really one. I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grade. Ah, uh, you know, Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> Fiji. Ooh, a kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway, uh, make sure that report is ready for tomorrow, will you? Even looks like the guy from Office Space. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. There, there was. I did notice there was like a a post on like the Steam forums, like from the devs, being like. Here are some of the references in this game. Um, and I didn't click on it because I didn't want to spoil anything, but like, so far I've seen like, two like, definite references, um, with Office Space and TV one I can't remember. Uh, maybe that other TV one I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, there's probably quite a few of references in here, so I'll have to look at that page at some point. Also makes me think of that one, that, that new episode of Black Mirror, like the first episode with the, the girl that everybody hates kind of thing. I want Michael Sarah in it. Welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey, did anybody hear that? <laughs> it's that song again. Nobody? Really? Who's lying to you though, Trevor? Don't be a fool, you gotta question things. Although does he? He seems pretty happy. He seems like he likes his life. As long as he's not. Oh, person to talk hey, to. Francis. Morning, Trevor. Good to, good to see you. Listen, Dave, have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? How? Oh, what do you mean? I don't know. Lights going off, music suddenly playing <laughs> in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well, yeah, forget it. It's pretty suspicious, Dave. Although maybe Trevor's just going crazy, you know? There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. Yeah, you're going crazy. <gasps> the day before that dreadful day. Uh-oh. Up and at him. God, this can't all be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey, Trevor, you up for a couple no, of years no, after- No, 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 I- sorry. He's just yeah. off. He's out of here. Gotten into him. Leave me alone, damn it. Whoa. It's okay, Trevor. Just calm down. What? <gasps> it's me. Hello. Jesus. <laughs> Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? <laughs> Nobody notices him. Poor guy. Maybe it's only stress. I've been working too much lately. I need to go to the doctor. It's it's been ages since I had a checkup. Well, oh, he just popped out of existence there in the the frame before it changed scene. No, I'm not in the mood to play right now. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after last time. They're lying to you. No, thank you. Who knows what might happen if I turn that droid on? Turtle. Hey, Kovacs, am I going crazy, buddy? The turtle's just like, they're lying to you. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. There you go, Trevor. That dreadful day. 
He didn't. He's, he's, he's right. He did not sleep. Those were probably the worst two weeks in my entire life. Or at least the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know if they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's we, uh, we just finished the prologue, by the way. A few hours of work, and the week will be over. I'll finish here, go back home, have a glass of warm do, milk, do, do, do. go to sleep. apply for the Edge Travel Grant 2. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or Adenet. No, thank you. Why don't you want to go, Trevor? Strange, strange man. Okay, today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Does anyone notice he's always last into the office? Like, everybody's already working by the time he gets here? Oh, come on! I didn't even save. That's okay, you didn't hey guys, do anything. Did you lose your... Gus is dead. <laughs> Gus is dead? <gasps> That's so cool. Please. Your supervisor requires your presence in the meeting room on the 10th floor. Now what? Gus is dead. Uh, this is super clever. Yeah, nobody, uh, nobody seems to talk to him much. What on earth? Don't. Be a... Fool. They're lying to you. Trevor, this could all be in your head, though. You are probably overworked, and you should probably talk to them about your mental health. That seems the responsible thing to do. Do, 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 do. Wow, this is a huge elevator. Listen carefully, I don't have much time. As soon as you enter that meeting room, your supervisor is going to congratulate you for winning the Edge Travel Grant. What? what who, who is this? Just listen. Three travel agents will be there with you to arrange all the paperwork. They don't look like travel agents. You won't ever be seen again. What? What? Wait a second. I didn't even apply for the travel grant! Neither did Gus. <laughs> Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. It's your only chance to survive. What, what? Wait! What on earth was that? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't want to go out there. Here, on the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? No. Take the elevator at the end of the hallway and go straight to the 20th floor. <gasps> Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here. Nope. I have good news for you. Where are you going, Mr. Hills? Uh-oh. You oh, won. No, 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 no. they've seen me. Whoa. <laughs> I can jump now. Down with this measure, we will pay. Hello. You can't be here, Mr. This is a private meeting. Uh, sorry, I, I'm. I just. I have, I have to. I just. Oh, bye, bye. Bye. So, yeah. I think there's someone behind me as well. Twenty floor. Go go go. Uh. Sorry, couldn't hold it. Take the stairs. <laughs> Phew. Okay. Now what do I do? When you reach the twentieth floor, cross the Ada Blue lobby and enter the supercomputer. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the- Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Okay, let's go. Supercomputer room. Hey, everybody. Man, a lot of stuttering when it loads to new areas. Damn it, there's no exit here. Hey, you, strange voice or whatever you are. Can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? What? Calm down. Don't panic. I'll be right back. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Whoa. <laughs> Great. All checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer for my cell phone. Which, 
I don't remember where I put. Ah, uh, where did I leave my cell phone? So now this is the first person, so now... I'm gonna change to keyboard mouse. The weather forecast predicts a blizzard for the next three days. Yay! Super cool that you shift between them. I have to grant myself admin permissions to help Trevor. Without them, I'm afraid I can't do anything to help them. Okay, Trevor. This little plant managed to survive, despite my black thumb. Where's my phone? Engineering and advanced programming books. Some are in English, and some are in Spanish. Arpad Kovac signed this postcard for me when I met him at TechCon in 1999. Kovacs, huh? Like the turtle. Manager. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, but that's the way I am, I guess. <laughs> There's a QR code on here. Guess I probably have to scan it, you know? <laughs> the text is high. <laughs> It just, it just reads hi, so that's quite funny. <laughs> Where's my phone? Oh, there it is. Here you are. It's blinking now as well. I only have to access Kendra's computer and unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. Klutziest activist ever. Okay, well, it's 190. And it's 17 something. So it's probably this one. Then it ends in two. It's probably this one. And it's two, three. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one. One again. <laughs> what the? And no. here it is. No, 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 Total no, no. system shutdown. Now, Kendra, you better follow oh, the protocol like a responsible supervisor me? and call Jean. Yeah, of course, it's Kendra. Yelling? Oh, you better move your sorry ass and get out here, or you will find out what yelling is. <laughs> I can hear what she's saying. And here it comes, directly from the server room. Jean Win, the admin guy. Hey, Jean. Hey, Jean. Poor Jean, I really owe you one, man. Okay, the server room will be empty as long as Jean is pulling all of Kendra's oh, aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, you it's gonna be a while. So next phase, get inside the server below. room. Can't be you caught on the surveillance cameras. Okay, off we go. Uh, I probably won't play too much more. I just wanted to make sure uh, that we got to see both like the 2.5D stuff. The hallway to the stuff. server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. Oh god, okay. What's this one? This one's pointing like at my... Ah, here it is. Oh jeez. Well, it's not... It's not the lobby and it's not the server, it's probably the corridor. I don't know where I... There's a camera. Is this the lobby? Yes. I think it's looking at that there. So I think this is the lobby. Lobby. Okay, and now we just need to get into the server room, which is probably here. Server room. And there's probably a camera just inside? I have to get it from outside. I don't know where the camera is. Uh oh, there it is. <laughs> it said, like, don't get caught on the, the camera. So I'm trying to be, like, kind of sneaky. But I feel like I don't really have to be that sneaky. I think as long as I do this, I'm, like, not caught. Good. All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. Sick. My cola. No, thank you. I've had enough sugar today. Okay. Shit. I forgot that Gene still uses the old four-digit security system, and I don't know his passcode. Uh, I guess we gotta find out his uh, password now. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna leave the video there. That was a look at the start of American Arcadia. This is really cool so far. What a interesting idea to blend two very different styles of game with 2.5D platforming and uh, first person. Very nice and puzzly. Uh, very intriguing story and, and premise and setting so far. Uh, I like the, the two worlds we've got so far. 
this is very, very cool. Uh, I'm sure I will definitely be playing more of this, but that was American Arcadia. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!